It's time to stick the kettle on, grab a cuppa, and settle in for the next EV morning. Have another very busy show for you today. We're talking Cadillac Lyric SUV with its massive screen. We put the foot to the floor in the new Rimac C underscore two, and the company's founder takes us on a drag race with a Porsche Taycan, and the VW ID6 is launched at the Shanghai Motor Show. Don't get too excited, it won't be on sale in other markets yet. We'll wait and see. And finally, we'll look at Electric Island, opening in Portland to give gigantic EVs somewhere to charge. Well, hello and welcome to the show. My name is Martin Lee. If you like this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a show. First up today, the Cadillac Lyric. Now, we're not going to get the car until the beginning of 2023, so over a year to wait for it. So we wondered whether to put it on the show today. But when you think about the iconic stature of the brand, what a revolution this car could be in its history, it's worth talking about. Plenty of specs are very impressive that we'll mention as well for their first electric offering. At the front end, it's quite a futuristic look. We can see the Cadillac logo illuminated there, and it's set in a gloss black, closed off inside the grille. Well, head inside the car, you've got a 33-inch curved screen displaying driving information, and the infotainment system is dominating the view. There's plenty of space, and Cadillac promises they've paid a huge amount of attention to detail with fit and finish. This is going to be a premium car. Under the wrapping, we have a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack indicating a range of somewhere over 300 miles. The exact number we don't know yet. You can option an AC charger that is 19.2 kilowatts, and that's very impressive. DC rapid charging, also impressive, 190 kilowatts. That's up there with just about the best of them these days. Power output, not too shabby. It's got power of 255 kilowatts. That's 440 newton meters of torque. And although this is a big car, they're giving it plenty of oomph to get you off the line. Production of the Cadillac Lyric starts in the first half of 2022. So sometime around this time next year, they'll start to make them. Prices will start around $60,000. And to give you some context, the entry-level Audi e-tron starts at $66,000. So, look, not a cheap car, but we wouldn't expect that from the Cadillac brand. Next up in the news today, Rimac going under nine seconds on the quarter mile. And it wasn't even taken very seriously. We are so excited to see the wave of all electric supercars coming to the market in the next couple of years. Now, some of these cars approach 2,000 horsepower and promise incredible speeds. There's the Pininfarina Batista, the Tesla Roadster version 2, and the Lotus Evaya, all incredible. One of the supercars in question is coming from Rimac, and it's provisionally called the Rimac C2. C underscore two. Now we've featured the car on the show in the past and spoken of some of the numbers it's expected to achieve, but why talking about it today? Well, the founder, Mate, is really good at posting YouTube content, and this wasn't a flashy, polished video. It was really him doing a selfie shot on his phone and then jumping inside the latest car they've built and seeing how quick it goes on a disused road and putting the foot to the floor. Now, conditions weren't ideal. Battery was 80 something percent. The road hadn't been used in a long time. It was dusty. It was bad tarmac. It was on normal tires. So, none of the things that you would try and, let's say, game the system if you were doing a drag strip in perfect conditions. Now, they haven't even unlocked all of the power, and the battery wasn't even fully charged. Didn't have launch control set up either. And the race was run on very dirty services. So, what happened? Even with all these limitations, the C2 put out a peak of 1,800 horsepower. Not to 60 miles an hour, not to 100 kilometers an hour, 2.4 seconds. Which is impressive, not mind-blowing, but the Taycan, which they were racing it next to, seemed to beat the Rimac off the line, and maybe even to about 60 miles an hour. Perhaps that's because the Rimac didn't have its launch control set up, or just the software is finely tuned on the Taycan, which is a production car. But after that, it was game over. Rimac getting to 130 miles an hour in 5.85 seconds, did the quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. We can't wait to see what this car does on a proper surface with all of its power and its software finely tuned. Next up in the news today, we'll talk about the VW ID6, another number 
to add to the ID range. It's being shown off in Shanghai, and unfortunately, we're not going to see the ID6 in European or US markets to begin with. But worth talking about because it's the third installment in VW's very, very important ID range. It's going to be the biggest thus far, seven seats and an extra 30 centimeters length over the ID4. The Shanghai Motor Show was a fitting place to unveil the new VW model. Production is going to begin in two different Chinese factories this year. They say it paves the way for a 50% stat. They say it paves the way for at least 50% of VW cars that are sold in China to be all electric by the end of the decade. Now, there isn't a whole lot to say about the ID6 considering the similarities it has with the ID4, and we know a lot about that already. Three different motors. 132, 150, or 225 kilowatts, two battery sizes, 58 or 77 kilowatt hours usable. Although, considering the extra weight in the ID6, probably a little less range and less performance. And now let's talk about the electric island. Our final story today is moving away from cars thanks to Daimler Trucks and Portland General Electric opening up their electric island to the public. It's located on Swan Island in Portland in the US, right beside Daimler Trucks HQ. We're all so familiar with Tesla's superchargers, Electrify America, and over here, the Ionity Network. However, there's never much talk about how we're going to charge really big electric vehicles, trucks, commercial vans, things that don't even fit into regular DC charging spaces. Well, the Electric Island has eight high-powered chargers currently, but it looks like the site is future-proof to cater for even faster charging units once they're produced. As more and more electric trucks come on stream, We'll always need ways to charge these enormous battery packs starting at 500 kilowatt hours and getting really big for these large commercial vehicles. Now in time, we're going to see school buses, refuse trucks, lorries, big vans, all going electric, and they all need to charge somewhere. And this is their idea of how we'll do it. And I say, bring it on. Well, that's your show for today. Some fantastic cars in a really packed international edition of EV Morning. The future is definitely looking bright for the electric revolution, and we love to hear from you with what you think of any of the stories we've talked about today. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the Rimac Hypercar, the ID6. If it was sold where you are, would it tempt you? And what about the Cadillac Lyric? Well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and it lets us know to make more shows like it. And we'll see you on the next one.